Hi, I'm going to finish the alterations on the center front of the Simplicity 2247 remake into a 1940s dress. So let me show you what I did. So here I have my front piece. It's all merged into a one piece pattern piece. That's the front. Here I have the back that's all merged into one piece. There's the side back merged into one piece and the side front merged into one piece. So instead of having all those separate pattern pieces, now I just have one piece for each princess seam. And what I was left of here is the front and I wanted to add buttons down the front. So what I needed to do is that my pattern ended on this red dotted line here. This is the center front dotted line. So I found myself a pattern that I have around that is a button up front. This guy right here. Simplicity 3700. And this view right here is a button up front. So I found that pattern piece and I see they have marked the center front in a dotted line all the way all the way from the hem to their neckline. So what I did is I laid my pattern piece where I marked my dotted center front red line right on top of their red line or their dotted line and I drew line to match theirs. So it, I added about an inch and a half, I think. Let's see. That would be nice if I got the right side of the ruler. <laughs> Alright, so it looks like I added about an inch and a quarter-ish from the center front out, all the way down the front. So then, I needed to add buttons. And I went and looked at the pattern piece that Simplicity 3700 has for their buttons. They have this strip here. And this strip is meant to be used after the front is sewn on, thrown on, sewn together. But it basically, they you take this dotted line from this strip and you line it up with that dotted line. And what you get is your buttons Mine are actually backwards. <laughs> yes, there we go. So what you get is your buttons basically with one side of them right, o right on the center front dotted line right there. So I copied this on my pattern piece. I copied the buttons the same spacing as it was on their strip. The buttons are spaced about one, two, three, three and a quarter inches apart. So I did that all the way down. I started, here's my seam line for my facing on my neck. This is a V-neck. So I wanted the first button to be that close to the V-neck. You can put yours wherever you want yours to be. And I drew them all down the dash center front line. So that's where I'll mark all my buttons and whenever I cut, I will cut to this line. Not this line anymore. Now I've added a placket for the buttons. And this will happen on both center front pieces. Now there will be two instead of cut on the fold like you did before. You're going to cut two pieces and they'll be opened down the center front and they will button up. So one last thing you need when you make this modification is a facing. I haven't made my facing yet, but it's going to be pretty simple. Basically going to take this pattern and trace from here. I'm going to make my facing about maybe four inches wide. So it's going to come all along here and follow the contour of the dress. So how I'll sew this together is put my facing right side together with my pattern, my pattern fabric, 
and so a five inch, five eighth seam here. Turn it right side out. Stick it your facing inside underneath the fabric, and then my pl button placket will end about right here, about five five eighths in, and it'll do that on both sides. Then only on one side I'll make the button holes, and the other side will get the buttons. So I'll do some more videos about this, but this is basically how you would modify Simplicity 2247 to be a button front um, 1940s style princess seam dress. So good luck!